Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Libra. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for dropping in. I appreciate it. So this is your last reading of 2021, your last weekly. I will have some singles readings up on next Monday, so that'll be in the new year. I will be focusing on a new energy. Hopefully you are too, so it comes out in the cards. All right, Libra, let's see what your overall energy is. Something right there, just breathe. It's about balance, releasing negative energy thoughts, hearing out your energy, nice energy. I like that. Oh, yeah. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself. This is finding balance within yourself. It's about becoming healthy. Oh, embracing an opportunity here. Oh, this is nice. Some of you have a new opportunity. It's telling you to embrace something, uh, to be open to some gifts that you're about to receive by the looks of things here. It has to do with this loving and nurturing energy. So I feel if you've been kind of stuck, okay, it's telling you to just breathe. Find that balance within yourself. Let go of negative thoughts and energy. Uh, give yourself a little of that loving and nurturing care. Uh, but I see this embrace, this being open to some kind of change. Wow. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with you. What does Libra need to know about this overall energy surrounding them? Clear messages and guidance for Libra. What does Libra need to know? Clear messages and guidance, please. There we go. There you are. Yeah, you're releasing something here. Uh, you're shedding something and letting it go. Uh, you may have had a wake-up call recently to do with your health. You may be needing to nurture yourself. But I feel for most of you, it's more about your energy, okay? About embracing time for change, to be open to change. So it could be a reconciliation energy. You may have somebody who wants to reconcile with you. It's possible it's here. But I really see is that decision to let go, to move towards something new, a whole new energy, change. Hmm. Libra. Do you want to come out? Uh, we have Aries Leo Sag. There's that moon. Ooh. Yeah. So this is releasing fears, releasing negative energy. Uh, it's clearing up confusion. Okay, through loving and nurturing care. There's something new. So this is a beautiful energy. Something is being exposed, this new beginning. You have a new person possibly. All right, could be another Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, possibly. A new person. This is a loving and nurturing and caring energy. Something new, embracing it. Oh, somebody's ready for love here. Some of you might have a choice. You may be releasing an Aries, Leo, Sag, or it's just an energy. Okay, this is somebody who knows what they want by letting go of something, somebody who doesn't give up. But I feel there is definitely that moon. It's romantic a lot of times. It's a very romantic energy. Uh, you could have a secret admirer as well. But I see this new energy. I see this loving and nurturing. Somebody You've got somebody who's very loving and nurturing coming towards you. Could be somebody who just knows what they want, okay? Could be a reconciliation, but I feel as though you're going to let go of something. Could be somebody letting go of fears as well and coming towards you. So I'm going to just, I'm reading all the scenarios because I want, you know, it's up to you to decide which fits best for you. But yeah, you've got someone here who's ready for the responsibility of a relationship. Someone's letting go of some kind of burdens, letting go of something, something there with this person. Somebody who's ready to pull their weight, to be responsible. You've got this new energy. This Somebody is coming in to express themselves. They're ending a situation. This is something that's over. Burdens, responsibility. Maybe a bit, somebody may have had a few fears of something here. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. I don't want to jump to conclusions till all the cards comes out. Here we go, Libra. Yeah, someone's, there's that energy of a person who's looking back at all the hard work. Someone's coming in on bended knee. you got someone who's coming in to express themselves. Someone's coming in to surrender, to embrace this change. I, I feel like you got someone who's open to change. And I feel like you may be open to hear what this person has to say. 
Uh, I feel like you are ready for change. I feel like this is a nurturing and loving, caring person. I feel like you're definitely do some of that. You want to partner someone who pulls their weight. Someone here maybe has feels responsible. I see a Gemini energy. Yeah, this is a manifesting energy, though. Let's see. Yeah. So you have I feel like you have someone you're gonna stop talking to. You have someone who's a bit manipulative. Uh, I feel as though some of you have a choice possibly here, but I feel like what it is, is this is your new, this is the new, somebody who pulls their weight, someone to share the responsibilities. This is a loving, nurturing energy. I feel like you got someone here that you're going to stop talking to there. You got someone who's a bit manipulative. They breadcrumb. Okay. Uh, you're maybe waiting for someone to reach out to reciprocate. But I would be a little cautious of this person because I feel they're not going to. Someone feels responsible. Maybe they didn't reciprocate their feelings or emotions. It's possible this could be a reconciliation. I see three kings here. Um, or pardon me, there's two kings and uh, the magician and the six of pentacles. It's making me feel like there's a third person. But it's more than likely someone who's manifesting. They have all the tools they need. Someone maybe have manipulated. They, I, I, what I feel is though you've got someone who feels responsible for not reciprocating, sharing their feelings, emotions. They weren't pulling their weight in a relationship, and that's what I feel. You may be open to something new. You may be stop talking to someone who's a manipulator, and that's what I feel. Like you're looking back at all this hard work, you're going to stop giving. I feel like you were very loving and nurturing and giving to someone, and they didn't pull their weight. That's what I'm kind of feeling, and someone feels responsible. Someone who kind of wants things their way a little loud or proud. This is a decision here. Yeah, it's a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Things are about to start going in your favor. Oh my, what have you got going on, Libra? Yeah, so we I see possible Aries. Yeah, so I feel you're ending something. You're ending, you're taking this one last look over your shoulder, or this person is they're ready to take this leap of faith towards this new beginning. So I feel like it's all this one person or two people. I feel like there's someone here you're going to stop talking to. You're looking back at all the hard work. You're giving up on somebody, but you're open to something new. And someone is hoping that you are. Someone's ready for change. Could all be one person, though. I kind of see that energy flowing here. King of Wands. Why is this here? Why is this King of Wands here for Libra? Oh, we have the King and Queen of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. This could be yourself. Take it as it resonates, but I'm going to read this as yourself. You can flip it. This is someone who knows what they want. Okay, this is someone who goes after what they want. What we have is two people here who know exactly what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. Uh, two people who are creative, hardworking, very passionate energy. You're both waiting for the other person to take a risk, to take that leap of faith. I think both of, I think there's this energy of something about to go in your favor. This is coming towards you, that wheel of fortune, that leap of faith. Just breathe. Let's see what this moon energy is about. It's I feel there's passion. I feel there's something romantic. It doesn't actually feel, yeah, it's something new. The fog is lifting. I feel you've got a new person. Some of you might even have a couple new people. Ooh, someone's fantasizing, looking at the possibilities, making a decision. Some of you may have a few options. Someone's about to, you, you may have two people interested in you, but what I'm seeing is uh, something is becoming exposed. The fog is lifting. Uh, someone, some, there's some kind of secret being exposed. You could have a secret admirer. Uh, but I see this waiting. Some of you are focused on that wand. You've been kind of waiting for something or someone's waiting for you. Maybe you're waiting for someone to make a choice. But I feel like while you're waiting, you're keeping your options open because you're not somebody who settles if there's this energy, regardless, actually, whether you're the king or the queen of uh, wands. But we have two people who have some very similar energy. A couple of risk takers ready to go off on a new path. Oh, my goodness. So there is a decision. Something is being exposed. 
Some of you may have somebody who had other options. It may have been exposed. Maybe you took a leap of faith towards them or they took a risk and it was exposed. But I feel there's this new energy. Yeah. So there's this, yeah, somebody stable, reliable. I feel like you got a new person. Something you're about to make a decision to let go of someone. Uh, you're not settling. You are keeping your options open. You're looking elsewhere. Yeah, you got a new person coming. I see this energy flowing. So just breathe here. Just relax, okay? Uh, I feel as though there's something really happy, really positive, uh, very passionate energy as well. A decision, a choice. Some of you have, you are keeping your options open because I feel like what's happened is somebody uh, took a risk and it was exposed. They had other options. But I feel like whatever's happened here, this decision is bringing uh, this new person towards you, this option. You're looking elsewhere is what I feel. Someone sees the possibilities of being with you. They see it's possible if they reach out, you may have other options. But I think you got a very caring, loving per person, the heart of the reading. Yeah, we've got, see, we've got someone here who, uh, a single person, could be yourself. But I see you got, there's a person here who's single, who has other options. Someone who keeps their options open, they just want to be single. So there's some kind of rejection. Yeah, you're, it, you're not going to accept this. It's not good enough. So you have somebody here uh, who I feel wants to be single. Uh, they just want to keep their options open. It's being exposed. But I feel like while this is being exposed, there's this new beginning happening because you've been keeping your options open as well. It's like you probably just kind of knew. Whatever. We'll see where this goes. This is interesting. Somebody missed an opportunity with you as well. So you, I feel like you have another chance at another opportunity with someone, you see. So something positive is happening because of this energy. Tell me about this King of Cups. What is this here? Oh, someone soul searching their feelings, their emotions. Someone who's thinking about commitment. A new beginning. Something is being exposed. Somebody wants to express themselves. They want to start something. They see you as a partner, see the possibility. Somebody also sees it's possible you may have other people. You may have other options. Um, I do see a Virgo energy. Somebody who keeps things to themselves. A bit of introvert energy. It could be just somebody who's soul searching, keeping something to themselves. Somebody wanted to be single. They kept their options open and I feel like you're aware of it. Uh, I feel like yeah, it's, uh, you're not accepting it. It's not good enough. But someone failed here to see something. You may have taken a risk and failed to recognize this with a person, but it's being exposed and you have a new person because of this. I don't know how it's happening, but we're going to see. Uh, I see this hermit soul searching, someone shining a light on this journey to do with their feelings and emotions. Someone feels responsible. They're burdened by something. Someone has a lot of possible financial responsibilities as well. They may be starting something new. They have a lot of weight on their shoulders. But I feel this person is something. I can definitely see them right up here. This could be a new person. Uh, they could be a Virgo with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart, possibly. Or they're just in that energy. But someone who's single. There's definitely a single. But I think some of you are just staying single and keeping your options open. Because you know what you want and you're not settling. Uh, if somebody comes towards you, you know, and they don't want to commit or that you don't feel they have their best interests at heart, you're just sort of sitting there waiting for the one, that right person. Yeah, you're not waiting for anybody here. Libra, you are not waiting for anyone. You are releasing. You are making this decision here. Reflecting on the past ending, maybe there was an on and off uh, situation with someone and you're reflecting on it, taking that leap of faith towards new. But it could be this other person as well. I see a Leo too, and an Aries. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, speaking your truth. There you are, Libra. Yeah, you're speaking your truth here. Uh, somebody's not pulling their weight. Somebody's not taking responsibility for something. So you are, I feel like you're making a decision to be responsible for yourself. You're looking out for yourself. Something's not acceptable. So I feel as though you do have a person here who's definitely checking you out, though, to see if you're single. Uh, I feel they kind of don't want to be uh, rejected. 
maybe a little concerned that you will, but I th this is someone who sees you as someone who speaks your truth. You want to know the truth. It's like you, you feel like you have to get, you want something off your chest. Uh, but there's this nurturing and loving energy, okay? So I feel like if you say something to someone, you're doing it in a, in a, for a way uh, to be kind. Like you're not saying something harsh here, okay? I really feel as though there's some kind of responsibility or burden, something you need to get off your chest, you need to speak and communicate about. Or you could be cutting somebody out who doesn't pull their weight, that's not responsible. Something you've said, okay? So it's telling you to be very wise. Take care, Look out for yourself, okay? If something isn't good enough, cut it out. Wow. But I think you got someone who's soul searching their feelings and emotions here. They're looking to see if you have other options. They're wondering if you're going to reject them. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we got somebody who's heading your way. Some of you are walking away from someone, though. But you got someone heading towards you as well. This is interesting. So let's see what this magician is up to. What is this magician energy? Could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, or just somebody who's a bit of an introvert. And someone's manifesting something. Yeah, someone's holding back, feeling stuck. Someone's holding on to something. You're refusing to budge, I feel. Like you're not budging. You know what you want and you're not settling. So you're keeping your options open. If someone treats you like an option, you're going to keep your options open. I feel like you're going to speak your truth to somebody about something. Or you know the truth. There's a decision, a judgment. Maybe somebody uh, judged you wrong and you've, you know it's bothering you, burdening you. You feel like you need to get it off your chest. Or it could go the other way around. But I feel there's this very stuck energy. Somebody was very stubborn. There's this manifesting, or maybe you're both kind of stubborn. I don't know. This is a mirroring energy a lot of times. But there's this lack of, I feel like you're going to stop talking to someone. You're open to something new. Somebody doesn't want you to walk away, though. And that's that energy of somebody manifesting but holding back, holding on here. What is this Four of Pentacles about? Yeah, so someone here, I feel like someone doesn't want to let you go. Somebody's making you an offer. They're coming towards you. Where is my soulmate? Somebody's soul searching that energy. So I wonder if you've uh, ended something with someone here. It almost looks like you've ended a situation. You're making a decision to let go, but it's also a healing energy. It's about a little bit of a wake-up call. Maybe you gave someone a bit of a wake-up call, something you said. <laughs> Maybe you told them that you're uh, not sitting around waiting. Uh, you will start something new. Something is being expressed. It's like you're making yourself perfectly clear. I think you've been heard loud and clear as well. I see this Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This is what you want. You want something solid. This could be yourself. It could be this person coming towards you. They could be asking for forgiveness. This is also a person who may be in touch with their feminine side. It doesn't have to be yourself. But I feel this is about um, holding back, protecting yourself. There's an offer, something solid and reliable. You want that reciprocity. If there's no reciprocity, you're going to go for it. Yeah, I think you're going to stop talking to someone. You're going to stop giving to them. I feel like you've got a new person. Someone's looking to see if you have started something new. But I do feel this journey could be your own as well. It's in the heart, this soul searching, looking for answers, looking for that soulmate. Somebody who's, see, we got a king and queen of cups, a couple, a partner, someone who has your best interest. So I do see an offer. I feel like you've got someone who's headed in your direction as you're walking away from something. So tell me about the Six of Pentacles. There's my soulmate. Someone's looking for you. <laughs> six of Pentacles. There we go. Nope. Just one, please. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? There we go. Yeah, so there's a crossroad towards emotional fulfillment. So I feel like some of you have a choice. You're making a decision, a choice, uh, which way to go. Some of you are going to stop talking to someone. You're going to stop giving. You're going to stop feeding their ego or just giving to them uh, because you want something solid. So in other words, it's like you want to partner someone who pulls their weight. You want to make sure you know, they have your best interests at heart. Someone definitely sees you as a partner. Uh, they see you very clearly because they're shining a light on this. Wow. So I don't know if you gave somebody a wake-up call because you said something to them, and they definitely heard it loud and clear because I can see you 
You know, there's this energy of just, you know, you've been waiting for something here. This person's waiting for you, but you've got an energy of the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, two people waiting. Uh, both people keeping their options open, you see. <laughs> Somebody may be kind of want their cake and eat it too. Somebody's a little controlling, kind of wants things their way. Uh, maybe exposed. They may have had other options. Maybe they just want to be single. So I, I, I feel as though somebody here is worried about being rejected because I feel there's something that you said. But this is that crossroads, that path towards emotional fulfillment. You're going to stop talking to someone. You're going to take this offer. And it's going to be more emotionally fulfilling. You're ready to embrace this change with this open arms, you see. So I, I, I feel as though you're making a decision to let go of something. Tell me about just breathe. There we are. Yeah, see, there's that moon energy. Releasing fears, letting go. Something isn't good enough. If it's confusing, it's not good enough. It's rejected, okay? Uh, it's also an energy of somebody who kind of holds on to you. They keep you single. You keep giving to them, and they don't really reciprocate. So that's why I feel like you're making. You're at this crossroads. You're making a choice. I actually feel like the person coming towards you is making a choice as well. Uh, this path in life to do with the Six of Pentacles, to do with reciprocity. Uh, somebody here is wanting emotional fulfillment. You've got someone here who's very much in their feelings. They are a little cautious. Uh, they may see you as the queen of swords, <laughs> okay? Um, if you know who this is, they may be, you know, knowing you have something to get off your chest. But it's also about someone taking responsibility. You want someone to take responsibility. You want a partner, someone you can rely on. It's likely something that you said. Because I feel you've expressed yourself. You've made yourself quite clear. If you haven't, this is what it's telling you to do. But in a kind and compassionate way. Okay. So it's sort of a watch your words kind of energy. We have nurture. Yeah. So you've got somebody here who wants to court you. They want to date you. You've got someone heading in your direction. Eight of cups, nine of cups. I'm a little cautious. One foot in the door and out, not so sure. But it's a nurturing and loving energy. This is somebody who's very caring. Uh, I feel as though, look at that person here. Yeah, we have the King and Queen of Cups. I feel like you got somebody on that journey. But like I said, it could be yourself in this hermit mode, spending a little time alone, sticking to yourself, making a decision. Uh, maybe to just get out and meet new people as well. When I see this, this choice, something is being exposed, this new beginning. Um, uh, new people, new options. Someone's looking to see if you've started something new, possibly. Yeah, this is open. Now, there's that justice. Yeah, see, you, there's definitely a person here. See, someone was uh, unable to make some kind of a decision. This could be yourself, Libra, okay? But you want justice. You want someone to make a decision. They need to come in right. So if someone doesn't make a decision, you're going to make it for them because I feel like you have another opportunity Someone maybe feels they missed an opportunity with you as well because they didn't open up emotionally. So you've got somebody uh, soul searching here, shining a light on that little journey within themselves here. So <laughs> it's in the heart. It's more than likely both of you. So yeah, this is someone on a journey towards that emotional fulfillment. You see, you've got a person heading in your direction who sees you as a partner, someone who looks out for their best interest. They want to start something, a new person. You've got something new here. It's very positive. So this is your opportunity before you move forward to make sure this person is someone who pulls their weight. This is where you're discerning. You may have some questions, but be kind and compassionate as well, okay? Because a lot of people see the Queen of Swords as somebody who's very harsh. In fact, the Queen of Swords can be somebody very witty, very intelligent, and very charming. And actually have a really good sense of humor. So very intelligent. But this is that burden, that responsibility. That It's your responsibility. Okay? If you've taken risks in the past and someone treated you like an option, okay? You may have been a little passive at some point in your life. It's telling you to, this is when you meet this person, is when you speak your truth. You tell them what you want, what you don't want. What you want is someone who reciprocates. 
You don't want someone who's stubborn, somebody who keeps you stuck. You will not stay stuck. I can see that. You know what you want. This is an energy, I feel, where you're ready to end a cycle and let go of something and become uh, this queen of rods energy. Now, it could be this person ending something with someone else, possibly, and coming towards you. But this is an energy of someone who knows what they want and they go after it. Okay, someone who stands up for themselves, very brave, very confident. Okay, so I really like that energy. But I feel as though you know you want that reciprocity, but you want something solid. Okay, something reliable. You're waiting for it. But you aren't going to stay stuck because you're manifesting, right? I feel as though this is somebody who's manifesting you. Uh, there's a bit of a mirroring energy here between the two of you. Uh, both kind of in protective mode, protecting your feelings, your emotions a little bit. But I see this uh, choice, this decision, uh, this crossroads, this path. You're going to stop talking to someone, stop giving to them until they give you something. So you may have told someone, I'm not giving you anything more. Um until I get an offer, like maybe you're ready for a commitment with somebody and you've told them, you've kind of given them a bit of an ultimatum that they need to pull their weight. You want this person to be responsible. You want a partner. And it's your responsibility to ask these questions, to speak your truth, to speak your mind, okay? Yeah, because I feel there's some kind of decision here. Um, I feel it's either this person or yourself. This is... Um, you may be having a hard time trying to figure out if you have two people, okay, it's possible some of you have two. I see an Aries, Leo, Sag, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could all be one person though. And I also see that Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I feel like it's more like just an energy of someone who's a bit introverted. And keep to themselves. Somebody who just wants to be single and keep their options open. That's what I'm seeing. So I feel like that's where you're cutting someone out. But I feel this is about making a decision who's right. Some of you aren't sure. Uh, you're kind of guarding your heart. You've got your guard up. Uh, but you're having a hard time seeing which way to go here. And that's what I feel. You want someone who comes in right. I don't think you can see a future with someone if they don't come towards you right. It's come to me right or don't come to me at all. Be ready to pull your weight. Uh, and it is your responsibility to speak. Feel like you got someone who's burdened. They feel responsible. Maybe they didn't reciprocate. Maybe they had one foot in the door and out. Maybe they failed to see that you were the right person. You know, um, there's something they weren't seeing. So it could be them as well. Tell me about this two of swords. Yeah, moving in. Yeah, so there you are. Staying in your empress. So your decision is just, just to stay here and not make a decision. Uh, I feel like you're waiting for an offer. You're not going to give to somebody anymore until they open up emotionally, until they, there's a future. You want this happy home, happy life. There's definitely this reason to celebrate. I feel like you will make the, the right choice at this crossroads about what's right for you. Um but you may just sort of sit here. I feel like you're open to hear what someone has to say, but you won't make a decision unless they make you a solid offer. I feel like that's where you're taking a bit of a stand here. And uh, it's, it looks almost like a little bit of an ultimatum, but maybe said in a kind way. I see a little passive aggressive energy. Yeah, so you're speaking your truth. Okay, you're speaking your truth here. And I do think it could bring you success. You want the truth. You want to know if someone's going to pull their weight. You will cut this person out if they don't pull their weight. You want that reciprocity. I think a person is coming in to speak a truth. I actually feel, uh, whoever this person is, I feel they feel responsible. Uh, they're burdened by, maybe there's something you said that bothered them. I don't know. Tell me about this nine. But I see you being in that empress energy, the birth of something new, doing what's right for you, being open, keeping your options open. And that's what I feel like you said, and it's got this person up in their head. <laughs> I don't know. It could go either way, though. Yeah, so there's that decision, making a choice. It's about balance, being patient. So it's about tempering your words. So if you were harsh on someone or very judgmental, it's, if they do come towards you, Temper your thoughts, your words, your emotions, your passions, okay? Temper those emotionals. It's a balance of head over heart decision for yourself. Uh, possibly this person. I see a little Sag energy. 
So this is definitely there's some kind of a temptation. Someone may be reaching out, you may be tempted, but it's telling you to sort of sit on the fence for a moment. Um, make sure you're looking out for yourself, your best interest. This is a, a justice. You want justice. If somebody doesn't want to commit, I feel as though you're going to just stay in this empress energy because you have it's pulling back, uh, seeing what's right. If someone's right for you or not right for you, see that choice. So there could be a choice. But it's also a decision this person has to make. They have to pull back to see you. Someone seeing you differently. Um, seeing the situation. It could be an energy of, like I say, agreeing to disagree here. You both may see things different than, than the other. But I feel like it's about taking responsibility. Uh, speaking your truth. So maybe you feel responsible for judging someone. I don't know. If you don't, then it's you want this person to. It's almost like they're, it's like uh, they want you to take responsibility, but you're asking for the truth. You want to have success. It's this aha moment. Okay. I think if you speak the truth, you'll have success. Just do it in a kind and compassionate way. There it is. That emotional fulfillment, that fresh new start. Very nice. Uh, you have someone here who's very interested. Now, I, it really looks to me, for most of you, you're letting go of this person. Something is exposed. They have other options. Uh, they just want to be single. It's not good enough. It, it's There's a lot of confusion, mystery. Uh, they're hiding something, okay? And I feel like you're having this aha moment. Uh, but I think you got this new person here. Somebody stable, reliable, uh, not afraid to express their feelings and emotions. Yeah, see, there's somebody here. It looks like they could have some Pisces in their chart. Uh, somebody who's keeping things. It could be a secret admirer, too. I feel there's some kind of secret. Um, could have somebody who's been keeping their feelings to themselves. They kept something to themselves. If you can't put your finger on something and it's confusing, trust your intuition to speak up. Don't be afraid to speak, because I feel like that's what's really... I feel there's this energy of somebody who was very passive but it's also a little passive aggressive at some point is what i'm seeing here to do with the communication yeah there's some kind of change some of you are ready for change if somebody comes back around towards you it's telling you to change be kind and compassionate but make sure you get a solid offer i feel like you're just you're changing the way you're conducting yourself or something here not that there's, I don't see anything that you've really done wrong. I just feel like maybe somebody treated you like an option and you're kind of, you may have taken a risk with somebody and it didn't go very well. It may have been something very on and off and it's time to just let go. It's time for something new. Okay. It's time for this healing to make this decision. It's a wake up call. I feel like you're giving it to the other person though. Yeah. See, being very strong and very brave. Someone lacked the confidence to take a leap of faith. It's a, the Empress taming the beast, all right? Putting your foot down with somebody. Letting them know that you're not a pushover is what I feel. Uh, that you are, if, if they're going to see other people, you are too. And I don't think they like it, if that's your scenario. Uh, not one bit, in fact, because they're soul searching this energy. Yeah, you got someone who kept their feelings to themselves. They hid their feelings, emotions. Maybe they weren't sure you were going to be you know, the right partner. I don't know. But yeah, I see this energy of this talking back and forth, this communication. I feel this has been there, done that. So I do feel like there's an energy of if somebody comes back around, you're not going to, because um, that's a been there, done that, okay? like you, It's like something you've done before. You're not going to do it again. So you're going to speak your truth. I see that passion. If you were passive in the past and let somebody kind of walk all over you or treat you like an option, you certainly won't anymore because I see you're in the empress energy. You've gone through a lot of change. Something has evolved. Someone may be looking at you, seeing this change, but if they come towards you, they also need to change, okay? See? Tradition, belief, behavior, the way they conduct themselves. I feel like both of you are. <laughs> and I see there's this energy of faith going off on a new path path here uh, keeping the faith tell me about this oh yes very nice energy uh, so you've got there's definitely see there's this person you didn't have a lot of faith in someone here 
Somebody may not have been faithful. They may have had other options. You're kind of pulling back, seeing something differently. Now, I don't know if this person, there's something you didn't see or failed to recognize, a communication maybe from them. Maybe this person told you that they wanted to stay single. I don't know, but I do see confusion, mystery, something hidden. Could be just a fear as well. Yeah, manifesting. There's a Gemini energy as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you have a choice here. You have somebody manifesting you, somebody stable, reliable, practical, financially stable. So that could be this person with some Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone loving and nurturing, very calm. Uh, see, this is what you need is some nurturing, some love. This is somebody who will do that. They will uh, nurture you, care for you. This, uh, I, I wonder if you're having a hard time making a choice between two. Yeah, making a choice who to reach out to, who to reciprocate. Uh, it's about this reciprocity. So I do feel like you will make the right choice for you. But I see you being a little indecisive, Libra, about your choice. Who's right, who's not. Um, or somebody here failed to recognize that Empress energy. But I feel like you're going to be conducting yourself this way. Ooh, you guys. Let's see what the outcome is. I see the birth of something new being open to change. So yeah, dedicated effort. You want someone who pulls their weight. Someone who shares the responsibilities of a relationship. You know, you and another person, it's possible, could both have uh, your part in being responsible for something that may have happened, okay, if this is one person's energy flowing, but I honestly feel like you have other options. I feel like you have somebody who's manifesting you, uh, somebody who's very good at manifesting money. They're emotionally available, emotionally mature. They could be a secret admirer, someone who's keeping something to themselves, uh, but it's also a person, like they're Pisces, very intuitive. Something is being exposed. Something is being very clear. It's being illuminated here to do with this new beginning. Could be a secret admirer because I feel like it doesn't have to be, but just trust your intuition. I feel like you've got, it's, there's two people, dedicated effort. If somebody doesn't put the work in, you're going to move towards another person. Uh, regardless of the situation, you're not gonna, you're no longer gonna reciprocate to somebody who just wants things their way, uh, because you're there's someone here you feel is reaching out to others. They're not faithful. You don't have faith in someone. They may be coming back around, changed, and they may reach out, but I don't know. I feel like it's a bit of a temptation. You're gonna be tempted here, Libra, Libra. Yeah, speak your truth, be wise. Yeah, keep your balance. There you are. Stay balanced, all right? Be open, stay balanced, look out for yourself. Now, if you are ha having a hard time making a decision, or there's something here you can't see to make a choice, okay, just sort of stay in that Empress energy. Definitely look out for yourself. Yeah, there's something abundance flowing between two people here. I feel like there is balance between two people. You're going to pick the person that balances you out. Uh, they're compatible. You know, they like some of the same things. But I see this loving and nurturing person. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Who is this person? Somebody who wants to court you, and they're going to show you by doing nice things, by, you know, looking out for you. Uh, so this is someone who's going to show you they have your back. They care about you. This is someone who will rub your back and rub your feet. <laughs> They'll run to the store and do things for you, you see. It's, it's a you know, somebody who courts in a nurturing, kind way, emotionally mature. Oh, this person does know what they want, though. Oh, you got the emperor here. There you go. But you could have this other person coming back in, too. <laughs> I see that. For some of you, definitely, I can see the energy of uh, somebody who knows what they want and they're not afraid to go after it. So it really could be all one energy. Maybe you gave somebody an ultimatum. Maybe you told them I'm, you're keeping your options open. You're not waiting. If somebody does come towards you and they give you the impression they just want to be single, they just want to kind of, you know, be a bit wishy-washy, kind of in and out, uh, it could be spirit telling you to speak your truth, to put your foot down, you know, uh, but in a kind and compassionate way, as I feel. Um, it's almost like you 
you don't want to you don't want something to end but you're tempted here there's this temptation to walk away to take another offer is what i feel to put something behind but you have someone here who doesn't want to give up they come back and reach out but then they breadcrumb so make sure somebody if they come back around they don't act exactly like they did before okay that's what i feel like you need to watch for i'm liking the king of cups in this reading yeah, I feel like you've got someone here who's that King of Cups. I feel like it's somebody who knows exactly what they want. But I also feel like you've got somebody here who is a bit wishy-washy. There's definitely an energy of two people, maybe even more. I don't know how many people some of you have around you, but I see, I see options and new people. Um, some of you may have changed. Maybe you just want to be single. I don't know. Maybe you're seeing things differently. Maybe you just want to have a lot of options yourself, Libra. <laughs> you, are, you are. I do see balance, though. I see you staying balanced. That's your energy, right? Balancing. Making head over heart decisions. Weighing the pros and the cons. Whenever something feels off, you you fight, okay, to keep it in balance. So it, it, I do feel like you've got that conquered. There's no doubt there. But you need a person who brings balance into your life as well. You need someone who's just right. They come towards you right. There we go. Yeah, somebody who's sweet, a new crush, someone who does sweet things. They buy you gifts. See, you've got someone here who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go after it, but I do think they are a little cautious. So you're going to be tempted by this other person is what I feel. So you might have a couple choices. I feel there's definitely somebody very sweet, very kind, um, maybe someone sentimental, someone who always remembers birthdays, you see, things like that, the balance, beautiful energy. So as you're moving into the new year, if you are still single, uh, I will have some singles readings up on Monday, and I'm going to be focusing on the new energy. So if that's where you're at, focus on it so I can pick up that energy of the new, okay? Take care, and we'll see you soon.